Hi everyone, it's Melina again. Welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you a lot for checking my videos out. And today in this video I would like to show you some of the books that I currently read. Some of them I actually started reading and some of them I just checked out. So I'm planning to read them as soon as possible. And I'd say that some of those books are super educative. Some of them are just really nice to go through, to look at the pictures because they contain lots of them. And yeah, actual description of course too. So yeah, still lots of things to learn and like to enjoy I'd say. Anyways, two of those books are super heavy, their presents from my husband, he got them quite a bit uh, time ago actually and he didn't manage to bring them to Ukraine because, well, they're way too heavy and they're fashion books, so here is the one, the fashion book as it says and to be fair there are lots of pretty pictures that I really would like to show you because they are just amazing and to be fair I can learn lots of things about fashion designers, models, fashion photographers and fashion icons in general and to be fair as you probably know that uh, fashion icons they are not necessarily uh, people from like fashion industry they can be just you know famous people that definitely had this impact on like fashion or just had this very recognizable perhaps style and such I mean uh, I find it super super curious and absolutely love reading uh, this uh, information to those pictures some of those pictures are advertisements I'd say uh, to you know different projects so I really like this book, I've been enjoying it yesterday, really like chilling, going through it and I just really loved it to be fair. So yeah, lots of very pretty pictures, uh, yeah, that might be something just so curious. Uh, this one is one of my favorites, uh, Naomi Campbell, she's just gorgeous. So there are so many other pictures that are like my favorites but to be fair it will take me ages to actually show you all of them. Um, so yeah perhaps yeah if you really are curious about this book let me know. I might try to make like a long video or something perhaps. Just really wanted to show you. Also there is this one fashion uh, book, new edition, it's more about the history of the fashion and how it was changing through uh, different centuries and stuff, different like times in general. Also like uh, ancient Egypt uh, definitely had influence on designs or collections of different designers and I found it super curious and me myself, I mean I'd say that it's very inspiring and when you look at it so the ancient world, you can see lots of information that it contains. Uh, this one has more like um, information facts in it, I'd say. So I found it super, super curious. For example, yesterday I really been going through those pages about uh, ancient Egypt. As you know, people um, in ancient Egypt have been using uh, makeup quite a bit and wigs and stuff like that and it's really something to be you know inspired by also I really like Nefertiti I'm not sure I don't think it's pronunciation in, in English that is correct but I hope you understand who I'm talking about and in general there are just so many different interesting uh, things to learn uh, you know about about people uh, who were uh, wealthy that um, they look like there's differently also about um, things or outfits that were much more simple and uh, they give reasons why people would you know dress like that why it's more beneficial why it's easier why they use certain materials and such and I find it just amazingly you know curious something really to just you know look at and you know well I just really enjoyed I really really enjoyed uh, going through this book so yeah I'm very curious I'm just trying to find some of my favorites but honestly just difficult to do it now so I'm not sure if it's gonna be that easy just you know letting you know uh, 
so I found this picture and there are some descriptions by the way they give interesting titles in uh, this book to the chapters that are rather not necessary something that would be like facts they just for example this they call Turkish delight and they just want like this attention bring I found it very curious about this book too and this one is about fashion in certain periods of time that people ages ago have been inspired by uh, Turkish outfits for example they would combine things from different cultures and I found it like so inspiring and curious and to be fair myself I would like wear some sort of trousers like that because they've been talking about trousers and uh, well I had something similar not quite of course I mean it's far away from that but yeah they are very comfy and this is what they say about it like it's just so you know um curious and like something to be really inspired by also those dresses they look stunning in my opinion um definitely you know like yeah lots of things that are more closer to you know let's say fashion as we know it and it's still like super yeah uh, yeah, here still you can learn about different uh, designers and I find it just amazing. Anyways, yeah, if I'll keep going, it's gonna take ages. So also I found this book in my husband's library and I'm planning to read it or give it a try. It is by Jean-Paul uh, Sartre, Bean and uh, Nothing, Nothingness. I've been uh, trying to pronounce it correctly. Uh, nothingness I guess is correct in English well um, I of course heard about it not only heard I mean I'm pretty sure I had lectures about uh, this like philosophy in uh, university but Carlos says that I remember that much about it Carlos says that I've been reading much you know um, but I'm curious and I'm gonna give it a try and also in general I used to be I'm really interested in philosophy so for past few years even more than few I haven't been really paying much attention to it or I haven't been studying anything like that I've been I haven't been reading books like that either so just you know giving you my you know <laughs> uh, sharing with you my you know story let's say so I'm curious about um, the type of philosophy and yeah I mean I'd like to give it a try, let's put it this way. Also, I found another book in my husband's library that I'd like to read and I already sort of went through it a little bit. So it says Snoop, what your stuff says about you. So I really like learning about people, about how people act, about uh, what they choose to have, for example, in their house, what they choose to present them or what they choose to present them like. And I really am interested in things like that. It really is like enjoyable for me to read stuff like that. So I think I'm gonna really enjoy this book. Uh, yeah, I always, I used to read that type of or similar types of books too i used to read about how you know um for example the book where they explained the way people see it what it says about them uh it's difficult not to really you know name everything but yeah i remember reading stuff like that and i really enjoy you know information like that and learning about it so also my husband bought me very recently this book the breathing book good health and vitality through essential breeze work so yeah i've been reading it and i'm like already on page what 36 <laughs> i mean you can tell the way it looks like so it's easy to read but it has lots of um interesting information about how you're supposed to uh, to breathe and that you don't have to try very hard and it's sort of telling you that you need to start to breathe as a child I mean in the way of like you need you shouldn't try too hard you shouldn't you know and to be fair so I read something in this book that was um, very you know uh, impressive for me or else I was a bit shocked so um, I've been struggling with anxiety for one year and I had panic attacks too Previously, I had panic attack once, like ages a few years ago, not ages, few years ago, and then it stopped, like just one, and then I started having panic attacks when I had corona in my family too. 
I've been suffering with panic attacks through the summer and autumn too a little bit and uh, apparently so I've been also doing yoga for uh, more than a year now and in this book they said that certain breathing exercises from yoga uh, are not recommended if you have anxiety so yeah it's better sometimes to learn and it's better sometimes not to self cure or cure yourself too much I was so shocked um, it definitely blew my mind that I was doing something that is not recommended because the type of uh, breathing is quite powerful and it can make you uh, experience some fear and breathe very you know gasps uh, for uh, um, uh, and like you know too hard and this is uh, maybe what influenced my anxiety too so I've been doing something that I wasn't even supposed to I guess so this book uh, book actually explains a lot of things and how you know you sometimes uh, are too like I'm not sure too in this um, state of like stiff and you are you don't let your body breathe uh, fully so I really liked it and also about this scene that I mentioned that you are not supposed to do certain things if you have anxiety I have it captured somewhere if you really would like me to like tell you more a little bit about this I may do that so yeah also actually uh, I'd like to show you this little present from my husband it was just so lovely and adorable it is like this blankie and it has some things on it and it says like to my wife and stuff and perhaps I'm gonna show you just a picture of it because it would be just so difficult to actually show you what it says and besides it's like <laughs> okay it should be this side probably I just found it so cute and I love it to be fair so I'd like to show you maybe a picture of it anyways let me know if you like videos like this one perhaps you have some questions to ask I'll be glad to answer them as soon as possible uh, don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel give this video thumbs up and I'll see you soon